Great advances have been made in battling many global public health conditions, including malaria, tuberculosis, and infant mortality. But starvation remains one of the top public health threats, leading to one death every three and a half seconds worldwide. Food insecurity, defined as the lack of physical or financial access to enough food to prevent hunger and starvation, is a global problem, plaguing people on every continent. Today, one in eight people don't get enough food to maintain good health making hunger and malnutrition the number one health risk worldwide, a bigger risk than AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations reports that 870 million people in the world do not have enough to eat. This number has fallen by 130 million since 1990, but progress slowed after the global economic crisis in 2008. 98 percent of the world's hungry live in developing countries, where almost 15 percent of the population is undernourished. And nearly 65 percent of the world's hungry live in Asia and the Pacific regions. As the wealthiest nation on earth, I believe the United States has a moral obligation to lead the fight against hunger and malnutrition and to partner with others. But when tens of thousands of children die from the agony of starvation, as in Somalia, that sends us a message we've still got a lot of work to do. It's unacceptable. It's an outrage. It's an affront to who we are. But food insecurity is also a major public health risk in the world's most developed country. In 2011, nearly 15 percent of all American households didn't have enough to eat. And families living with chronic hunger were documented in every single county in the United States. During the past three years, an annual average of six million American households has resorted to emergency food supplies from a food pantry. And more than 57 percent of those food insecure households in the U.S. are currently dependent on federal food assistance programs to ward off starvation. Food is not just a commodity and agriculture is not just a business. Both are central to survival. Realizing every person's rights to food is a moral and humanitarian imperative. 